Hey everyone, Mtash here with another Tips with Tash video. So, this is um, a gameplay that I did a while ago that, uh, well, I AFK at the beginning for a bit, but I play very smart near the end, and it actually wins us the game because of my heavy control, and uh, I really want to break down that section for you. But in the meantime, we can look at some snipes I make, some plays I make, and let's get into it. So right here, I saw the flashbang go off, and I just start to run. There's no point trying to fight this. I'm blinded, and at this point, I want to throw a grenade. Hopefully, it'll hit him, but uh, my goal right now is just to figure out what I'm going to do about this first heavy. So I figure, oh, he might be up there, and then I realize there's no way I can defend this. If I pop down there, I'm going to get shotgunned or something. So I start moving to the other side of the map to the other heavy. heavy Great choice. I'm very glad I did, or else we would have lost both heavies here. Um... We got this one. Luckily, he like he had time to pick it up there, but I blinked onto him, got that kill, and I'm kind of waiting for my team to revive. I should have went for the revive on the other guy there because he was waiting for me. I figured he'd just press the revive button. But um, So we've got one heavy now. This is good. This is what we need. And at this moment, I figure there's too many guys. i got to start pushing here uh, with this heavy and do something with it. So right there. I don't have heavy up. I have to reload still, so I want to get away from him. I do have my super, and right here I become very, very pinched. This guy has rockets, and what I should have done was blink towards the doorway and ran away. Because the chances that he would have got to me in time and all the way around the corner and shot a rocket were very limited. Um, I was pinched in that corner, and all he had to do was keep firing rockets down there, and he was going to kill me. So that's okay. Let's pull out the sniper. Let's see what we can do with this. At this point, um, we are behind, so I want to start picking people off, getting some kills, and getting the lead. And I also want to start building up my super. So I'm trying to just play pretty safe here, uh, stay in the back. I've got the one snipe already, looking at my radar, checking out where is he going to be. He's going to jump up there or to the right on the boxes. Those are kind of the two main areas that people go. I saw someone's head there, so now I'm just waiting. Boom. Pick him off, get another one. Perfect. Um... That's pretty standard. Right there, I wish I would have hit that shot, but I missed. But I don't stay up there trying to engage on him. I just back out and play it safe. So right there was a panic grenade. I saw someone on my radar, but he's actually on the other side underneath that wall. Um, a bit of a misplay, but I'd rather have thrown that grenade and been safe than to just walk around that corner and die. And at this point, I'm seeing someone on my radar, so I'm trying to get the quick scope off on him. But he gets his as well. So we traded. It's not a, you know, terrible thing. I probably could have waited for the revive there, considering my teammates were here. But, it is what it is. M-Tash spams the revive button, and I want to get back into the action. So, I blink up here. And this is a good angle here. Um, I'm able to get that guy that's weak, take out the kill, and watch my transitions with this sniper. So, I'm looking around, seeing some bodies, and boom, there's a revive. Peg him. Perfect. And now, the guy is behind that box. He is stuck there. I can see his legs and, and, you know, in that little crack under there. I'm taking some damage, and I realize, okay, well, this is an opportunity that I can flank around. If I change my angle, I can get the snipe on him, and it'll be good to go. So, I flank around, look for him. I don't see him. He's still behind the boxes, but I pick off another kill. So, right here, I want to wait for this guy, and when I realize it's going to be a hard shot, I just wait for the revive, get the kill, and miss it. God, that would have been a nice little double off the revive, but unfortunately, I didn't pull the trigger quite soon enough, and the angle was a bit tough, so pretty unfortunate. So you might have seen my little hand move there. The second I realized I was blinded, I was blinking back to try and get some distance, try and put myself in a safer situation. So the second you see you're going to be blinded or something like that, try and blink away and get somewhere a little bit safer. So at this point, I do have my super up. I would like to use it. Um, I did challenge there even though I was weak because I figured I could trade, but nothing really happened there. I got my back scratcher. Perfect. That's what I like to see. But we now have heavy. So this is big. Um, instead of running straight to it, I'm actually watching here in case someone spawns. No one spawns, so I can run to the heavy and grab it safely. Um, it's way better if I could pick off a kill there before heavy spawns than, uh, than just pick up heavy and then have to waste a rocket on a body kind of thing. So at this point... Um, I do have rockets up. I'm playing pretty safe. I do have blink. So I'm able to get that kill. Blink away. There was no chance I was going to die there. Someone did self-res though, so I need to be a little bit careful here. I see a lot of bodies and... Fail bomb. So that was... The fact that I live there is just because I blinked nicely. But um, that was a very bad fail. And right here. Missed my rocket. So my whole play there. A. 
I missed my Nova Bomb on the wall when I could have got an easy double kill, so that was just a timing thing. I should have pulled my Nova Bomb a little bit quicker and at a better angle, and then I missed a rocket. So not only did I die there, but I left another player on the other team with heavy, so that puts us behind. That shit can't happen. But right there, boom! Flying through the air, I pick him off in the shoulder blade, so that was good. That was just looking with my sniper at a good angle, and luckily I got lucky with it. <laughs> you know, he... He, uh, he popped up there right at the good time, and I got it. Um, right there. That was very risky. That was a stupid trade. After he hit me with that body shot, I knew that if he hits me one more time with anything, I'm dead. But I stayed, and I traded with my primary. The second he hit me with that shot and didn't kill me, I should have backed out, especially because I missed my first shot. That was just greedy. So I went for the snipe. Didn't work out. Not a big deal. But right after there, uh, when he shoot me with that primary, I started feeling pretty rushed, pretty panicked, so I decided, I'm gonna get the hell out of here, I don't want to fight uh, a losing battle, and that's fine, the, you know, if you're not gonna win, like I always said, run, 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 get your health back and uh, come back, live to fight another day, essentially. Put some pressure on there with my primary, but didn't do too much to, uh, to help out the team, and then right there, nice, got some damage on him, and while that wasn't huge at the moment, but right after he supers, I'm able to clean up the kill just because I got that initial damage, so that was great. Really happy with that. And then I got the, the grenade kill on them to shut down the revive, so that's also a nice, nice little play. Uh, going for the revive now, might as well get as many points as we can. And uh, you can see right now it's an extremely close game. Awful play! Awful play! I blinked in to try and put some extra pressure on the enemy. Just because my teammate was there, and I got last worded in the mouth. I did nothing there but uh, but die essentially. And then right, I just backpedaled there with my uh, with my primary. So nothing too too impressive there either. Uh, I wish I would have landed the headshot there because that could have been a kill. And now the guy is just alive and and putting pressure on our team. He's got some grenades. Um, so I decide, okay, it's time to just blink in on this guy. I wanted to melee, but he gets away. Get him in the booty. Blink again forward, and I'm able to clean him up. Perfect, because heavy is up. So instead of grabbing our heavy, because my teammates are over there, I push to the opposite heavy. I want to shut this one down, because the score is so close. I don't want to risk them having heavy. I get the one kill. I'm able to pick up the heavy here, and this is good. I'm happy. But if you look in the bottom here, our teammates just got sniped twice. So um, at this point, I need to push to the opposite heavy, so I can hopefully shut down that heavy. I go for the rocket on this guy. Really stupid play. I don't know why I shot that there. So I wait, save it up, and bam. Hit him with that blast radius. That's great. That allows our team to pick up this heavy. Well, me, because my teammates don't want to pick it up, apparently. And uh, right there, I wish I would have landed that shot. That would have been kind of a cool blinking shot, but I missed it. Um, we're in a pretty bad position here because he is sniping us. There's two people sniping us now. So my goal is just to get out of there and survive, and then uh, kind of close the gap on them with these rockets. I don't get a kill there, and you know, it's only one more kill to win the game, so I just dive in. This is pretty stupid play, kind of greedy, but I do get the kill, and I win the game. I ended with a about a 4.0 kill death in that game. Not too bad, not too amazing, but uh, yeah, other than that, that's a game from MTashed in a nutshell. Thanks for watching, and have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.